Now this is the hanging site of Ellison Mounts. This was the death that pretty much ended the feud. There's been a lot of speculation over the years, you know, back, back in the day and since, about Ellison's guilt. Did he do it? There's a lot of evidence, there's a lot of court documents, there's a whole bunch of stuff to suggest that this man may have been innocent. Now, Heather and I, we've brought you here before. We've showed you this site, we've told you his story, we've told you the historical version, we've told you all this stuff, we've showed you the video, showed you the sites. We're gonna try something new. We're gonna try a little bit of investigative journalism. Now, most of you know the story of Cotton Top according to the old stories. Now, this is from newspaper articles and things of that nature. People, you know, people writing, you know, about the day, that kind of thing. One of the uh, articles says that he was buried a short distance from the hanging site, which is where I'm standing right now. There's the sign. One of the other stories says that he was buried within sight of his... Uh, of the spot where he was hanged. If you look right there, do you see that graveyard? There's a graveyard right there. Now this graveyard had been in existence for about eight to 10 years when Ellison was hanged. Now it says he was buried, one of the articles says he was buried in an unmarked grave within sight of the hanging spot. I see a graveyard with inside of the hanging spot. Do you not? Right there. Now that's where Octavia Hatcher, uh, she's buried there as well. Um, you know, according to the legend, the myth, the legend, whatever you want to call it, she was buried alive. Mm, maybe, maybe not. There's some speculation about that too. But anyway, that's neither here nor there today. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to do a little bit of investigating on this and we're going to see if we can't find out some stuff. But anyhow, I just thought I'd show y'all this. I'm gonna run up here in a minute and check out the old graveyard and document some of the some of the grave sites and stuff like that. There's a lot of old graves, a lot of historic graves, that sort of thing. Wouldn't it be something though if we were to find Ellison Mount's grave? I mean, not precisely. You're never gonna precisely know. I mean, you'd have to dig the man up, do a DNA test, all that sort of thing. But there's a real good chance we can get within 40 feet. <laughs> I mean, look at that. There's, I'm not going to let the cat out. It's too soon to be letting the cat out of the bag. But there's another name that I'll be looking for today that uh, we don't know this now. We don't know this. But we suspect something, okay? <laughs> we have reason to suspect that his name may just be changed. Now, I can see why the family, you know, when they buried Ellison, I can see why they would want an unmarked grave, right? He had just been convicted of murdering Alifair McCoy. Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of tensions going on here. There was a possibility of people, you know, uh, vandalizing the grave, you know? So I can see why they would, you know, a hundred years ago when all this was going on, I can see why they would want him in an unmarked grave. I can get that. But if it's within sight, if it truly is within sight, and we've got some other, some old pictures and some stuff like that that we've been combing through recently. We're just gonna see what we can find out. You know, wish us luck, right? We may actually uncover something, something truly amazing, something historical that nobody knows. How cool would that be? <laughs> Anyhow, I just thought I'd stop here for just a second. Now that's Pikeville College, that's a Lara Library right there. That thing is really old, supposedly haunted, by the way. But uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to start here uh, on this graveyard. This is Octavia Hatcher's grave site right here. Now we did a, we did a video about her uh, not too awful long ago, I think uh, a couple months ago, something like that. And that's in our, uh, in our library if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, basically, long story short, uh, her and her husband, uh, he was a local businessman right here in Pikeville. The, the legend has it that she was buried alive. You see, she had, um, they had a baby, and that's the baby. I think his name, yeah, it was Jacob. I was getting ready to say, I believe it was Jacob. 
but yeah right there's his name and right there is the baby now it's on a pillow now she had this she had that right there in her arm for years had the baby's had the baby laying on the little pillow on her arm was attached and it broke off many years ago and you know people were coming over here snapping little pieces off that sort of thing so they gated it put a big fence around it but which the gate's not locked but either way the the vandalizing seems to have stopped so not that big a deal i guess but uh there's her grave octavia's there the baby's grave and over here right here you see mr hatcher The old legend says that, that she was buried alive. Uh, we looked into it. We did some investigating. And near as we can tell, we can't find anything where the body was exhumed and found that she was alive. So, no. Myth busted. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hate to mess them up, but sometimes it's, you know, the truth will stand when the world's on fire. But uh, anyhow, there's, there's several others here. Uh, let's see, Trimble, Trimble, and there's some more Hatchers as well. Nineteen forty. There's an eighteen sixty-two to eighteen ninety. Imagine the life, you know, that Richard lived nothing like ours is it but there's more here these are just the ones that's inside what's that infant hatcher okay but uh, we're going over here in a minute we're going to check out some of the graveyard making another video about over there that's a whole nother ball game that's the one i mentioned we suspect there may be some hidden stuff so we're going to try to investigate it but you know we'll see it's all speculation but we'll see but anyhow latch this back always put it back the way you found it right let's see 1955 to 1955 is another baby. Huh. Still bringing toys up. Sorry. Hutchinson, 36 to 39. Our little man. It's terrible. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? You know that broke their hearts. Look, that one's fell off. Very clean. Somebody's taking care of these. These will usually, they'll turn black. Now that's a 1862 to 1893 Elizabeth. Wife of L.J. Williamson. And here's L.J. Williamson. 1856 to 1910. I always thought that was kind of strange, you know? Yeah, he gets, you know, the man gets, you know, she gets wife of. <laughs> I don't think I'd fly too well these days, would it? There's Lillian, wife of L.J. Williamson. I thought the other one was. There's two, oh, okay. I get it. He had two wives. Okay. These look fairly new. But you never can tell. A lot of times the uh, more modern stones will be added later. Burnett. Uh, Elmer Donny Burnett Jr. And these are all 20s and 30s 
There's a 23 to 23. Lived one day. We had a lot of that back in the day. Married June 3rd, 1922. That's cool, isn't it? Buried together forever. I always thought that was cool. One day I hope Heather and I be buried together. We used to say that we was gonna buy a sailboat when we got older and sell all of our, sell everything, sell our houses, vehicles, buy a, a, a boat, a sailboat, and just travel around a little bit and then wait till we're about 80 and sail off into a hurricane. <laughs> we changed our plan. <laughs> we revised that plan. <laughs> Now I think our plan is, I don't know, die old and gray. I'm not really sure what the plan is now. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a mason symbol. I'm not sure. The other one has one too. That's Bessie Arnold, 1902 to 1962. I'm not sure. Maybe some of you guys might know, might recognize that symbol. I'm not sure what it is. And that one. Kenneth Arnold, 1902 to 1944. Anybody recognize that symbol? I guess some of them, you know, have like a, you know, Mason. I've seen that sort of thing on tombstones a lot before. But, uh, Let's see. It's kind of a cool stone, isn't it? An old one and a new one side by side. 1930 to 1936, a six year old kid. And Minnie Sue Elliott, 2013. Recent grave and an old grave, right together. Hmm. There's a few there. Those are all newer ones. Except, I don't know, that one looks old, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's a one year old. Yep, 1917 to 1918. It's a one year old. And there's some more here. Lena Coleman, 1883, 1934. Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll work our way down. Okay, we're down on lower end now uh i had to swap out memory cards the memory card got full and my battery was weak so i had to swap them both but check this one out There's some scratches on it that's all you can see ox here 1845 1905 aj see much on that one nineteen fourteen huh To live in the hearts we leave behind is not to die. That's cool. Scott, W.B. Scott, Martha Scott, 1855 to 1927. Silas Scott, 
1850 something to 1918. Osborne, Greer, Catherine Dean Francis, 1861 to 1943, and David Livingstone Francis, 1850 to 1929. Used to be something sitting there. There's another grave there, but you can't tell what it was. The stone's gone. Roscoe Vanover, 1863 to 1927. His wife Martha was 1869 to 1939. Seems like you get in these graveyards, seems like they're always bigger than you thought they were. And you can see some here unmarked as well. So there are some unmarked graves here. Elliot. The Colonel, 40th Regiment, Kentucky Volunteer, died in 1918. Imagine that. unmarked now, there's several through here that are unmarked if you notice remember earlier I showed you when we were at the, the hanging site at Ellison where Ellison was hanged the signs right there this is in direct line of sight of his hanging spot this spot right here this was a graveyard when he was hung this had been a graveyard for approximately 10 years when he was hung. It's right there is the sign. We see it got some more research to do, but there's a really good chance that Ellison Mounts Hatfield's unmarked grave is within 30 yards of where I'm standing. Something like that, because that's the end of the graveyard right there at the wall. And you can only see back to so far. If now, you know, if the one story, the one article, news article, that he was buried within sight of his hanging site is true, if that, that article is true, we're there. We're at Ellison's gravesite. I might not be standing directly on it, but I'm real close. Interesting, huh? Lost grave from a hundred years ago. One little newspaper article give it away <laughs> what's that one bowling look right there's an unmarked one and that would the timing would be just about right because of the settlement the, the way the ground settles the timing would be right for that one and it's in direct line of sight too but there's several more right in here that could also be it and there's fullers no telling what that one was can't tell and there's more through here as well you can see there's more graves in this area I guess some kind of a vase stood there at one point or something Let's see if we got enough battery to get down here to get these last few. Cross your fingers, everybody. There's a really good chance I just walked across his grave. Now, what's back here? I didn't see these. Harp. I 
Oh, there's more of them back in the woods. Back in the brush line here. There's some. There's some. There's one. Abby Cole. Born 41091. I'm assuming. Huh. Oh yeah, 1800. So it's got to be 1891. To no. Who knows? There is more guys back in there that I cannot get to. And these would all still be within direct line of sight right here. Every bit of this stuff. Because it's right there is the hanging spot. This is still in direct line of sight. All of this. One story said that he was buried just a short distance away. One said that he was buried in a direct line of sight. That you could see the graveyard from his hanging spot from where they hanged him and like i said that spot is right there where that little sign is right there let me get back up here a little bit now, heather is under the impression that if anything he would be over there near octavia's grave near the statue i kind of favor the old side you know, I'm not sure. I saw which I saw some old ones over there too. There was a few older ones over there too. So it is very possible. It is very possible. Octavia Young. Two Octavias here. What's that old one there? It looks like an old one. Mm. All I can make out is 1921 is the only date I can make out. Okay, yeah. Influenza got a lot of people back in the day. All through that time period. Just a dangerous time to live there's John Young 1928 to 76 he's a World War II vet I'm gonna put a little brace on that one keep it from falling Catherine Mays Hatcher, 1893 to 1959. Hatcher, Katie Dills. Hmm. Let's look into that one. Easy May, two year old, 1908, 1910. It's awful. This one's got a latch on it, so we'll stay out. This looks like an older section here now. Although not that one. That one's 2021. That's a new one. Otho S. Batten. 1895 to 1972. And Pauline. 1906 to 1976. Woody. Fred Nineteen oh six to nineteen forty. Case bolt. Nineteen thirty seven. Nice little. It's like a bench. I'm not sure if it's a bench or what. I think it's left over a headstone. 
No, I think it's a headstone that's just fell over. It's a 1904 to 1937. 1861. This is Schuler. Hmm. There's one. Glenn McDowell. Private oh, Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps, World War II. Hmm. Merle S. McDowell. Glenn McDowell. Oh, well, there's two of them side by side. I think some of them, you know, they get misplaced. Because, you know, you can't... Is there Schuler's or Ellis? And that's the same spot. Okay, we're going to start heading back up this way. The 18 something. W.M. Brady Moore, 1897 to 1956. Another Moore, 05 to 96. Really? Okay. 1914 to 97. World War One. Right. Much respect, my friend. 1898 to 1959. Tony saw some stuff, didn't he? 1945. <coughs> Sad. Mother gone but not forgotten. I know how that one feels. There's another unique symbol. I know that one. No, that's the Mason symbol, like on the other grave. William Logan Perry. Any of you guys know what that one is? Never seen that one before. The new one. If I'm not mistaken, this section and the section over there should be the older sections, but we'll find out, won't we? Smith. Didn't really say much. There it is. Oh, here it is. Wow. 1812. J.R. Smith. And there's M.J. Smith, 1848 to 1884. And that's Carl. Yes, and that's these, yeah. Wow, look at this one. 1828 to 1916. W.P. Call. Margaret, Jesse, those don't have any. Kid, little boy, there's one that's came out. Paul Burgess Huffman, 1909. Huffman, the 1893. Definitely some older ones up here in there.
one year old. Old mason symbol on it. Uh, died looks like, it's like 1889, born in 1805. And died in 89, LS, can't make out the last name, Leslie, LS Leslie, I think. See if we can read this one. Eighteen sixty six to eighteen ninety two. Old West days, guys. This is almost certainly a baby's grave. Yep, eighteen ninety to eighteen ninety one. Can't make out a name on it, but it's definitely a baby's grave. And let's see. Born 1878. Kate. Oh, infant daughter. Okay. I get it. Stillborn. Back out of brush for a second. William Bailey. Yeah. There's Alara Library, Pikeville College. We're down to their parking lot. That is Kate Weddington Swim. Uh, Kate Weddington Sw Swim, S-W-I-M-M-E. 1872 to 1909. Also, her parents, Harry and Emmeline Price Weddington, all of whom lie in this immediate area. Huh. Yeah. I guess that's one good thing, you know? You get to be buried with your family. You know? Spend the rest of eternity with your family, at least. Evangeline Willis. Couple, couple unmarked ones. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten or eleven right here that are unmarked. That guy wire is coming down right in one of them. That phone pole. Right in the grave. eighteen ninety two to February eighteenth, nineteen oh eight England All I can make out is England hmm. What's this one Can't tell 1861-1918 She was a kind and affectionate wife and a fine mother and a friend to all. That's a good epitaph to have on your gravestone. Alright, we're going to pack up here. Head on out. We've got some more research to do, some more stuff to look into, a whole bunch of it actually. Got all kinds of junk to go through. Old documents to read through, old pictures, all kinds of stuff. We try to do the, we try to do the legwork, you know, when we come out here and do these things. Like Octavius, for example. You know, legend been around for many, many, many years. No supporting evidence. If her body had been exhumed, if, if Octavia's body had been dug up and exhumed, you can you better believe there would have been a paper trail. You better believe it. I mean, even back in the day, you know, they would have newspapers would have been all over that. And we can't find anything where her body was ever exhumed or anything even uh, anything other than the legend itself. So 
like I said, sometimes we bring you really good, cool legends that turn out to be true. Sometimes they're just legends. <laughs> That's what we're here for, though, right? Legends and locations. That's what we do. <laughs> I've got one more place. It's getting a little bit late in the afternoon. But since I'm over here, uh, I'm going to go over to uh, the Klein Cemetery where Perry Klein's buried at. And uh, we went over there once before, you know, doing a, a video about Perry Klein himself. But not necessarily, you know, the graveyard and who else is there and all that sort of thing. What other historical figures are buried with him. But uh, anyhow, we're going to head on over there here in a second and... Go check that one out. I hope you guys enjoyed wandering around the graveyard with me today. Hope I didn't bore you too bad. Uh, <laughs> which I guess if it did, you're probably not here now, are you? You, you would have left. But uh, anyhow, those of you who did stay and watch all the way through the video, thank you very much. We very much appreciate you guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed some part of it. And wish you guys nothing but the best day you've ever had. Y'all have a great one. And we'll see you next time. We're going to head on up now, go to the other graveyard, and get the third, fourth video of the day. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> They're kind of blending together at this point. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of video work for one day. <laughs> but uh, we got some miles covered. And, but uh, anyhow, uh, let's load up and get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching.